in the draw. <sighs> Sorry, I really focused. Focused. It. This word is so tiny. And not only is it tiny, it's really long. I think it says electromagnetism. Electromag, yeah. Electromagnetism. It took some focus to sound that out. You know, sometimes our life takes focus. The last month, we've been focusing on seeing yourself the way God sees you. And today, we're going to learn about a disciple that he got to do something really cool with Jesus, but then he lost focus. And, well, you'll see what happens. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. Jesus and his friends had reached the end of a long day, and they were exhausted. Get in the boat. Go ahead to the other side of the lake. Oh, wait a second. Aren't you coming too? I must send the crowd home. Well, all right. Andrew, James, John, let's get a move on. That very morning, Jesus had received terrible news. His cousin, John the Baptist, had been killed by King Herod. Wishing to be alone, he and the other disciples took the boat and went across the other side of the lake. But people followed, and later that day, Jesus fed more than 5,000 people with only five loaves of bread and two fish. So, bro, is Jesus going to meet up with us later or what? He didn't say. Peter and Andrew and the other disciples climbed into the boat. Nice breeze. Yeah, but it's uh, picking up. Should we wait? Jesus said go, so we go. No? Yeah, bro. The disciples set off across the Sea of Galilee, rocked by a gentle wind. Finally, the crowds dispersed. At last, Jesus was alone. He climbed up high on the mountainside and poured out his heart to his father. Father. As evening turned to night and night stretched toward morning, the wind across the lake grew wild. Instead of reaching land, the disciples were tossed back and forth on the rising waves. We're taking on water. Bail it out. James and John, you take the stern. Andrew and I have the bow. The wind and waves continued to pound the small boat the disciples could barely see through the spray. Hey, Peter, what's that? What's what? I see you too. See what? Come back here. Peter staggered to the back of the boat. Everyone looked out into the gloom to try to figure out what this murky shape was that was coming toward them on the stormy sea. It's, it's a ghost. Oh, oh. help us, Save we're us. gonna die. But even as the men began to panic, the figure called out to them. Be brave. It is I. Don't be afraid. Peter fixed his gaze on the figure. Lord, is it you? The man came straight toward them, walking on the surging water as if it were a smooth, sandy beach. If it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. Come. Now everyone stared at Peter. You can't walk on water, bro. But Jesus can. Taking a deep breath, Peter grabbed the plunging side of the boat and then threw his legs over the side. Impossibly, he stood up on the water. Whoa, this is crazy. Peter locked his eyes on Jesus, the only solid, stable thing in the storm-tossed sea. He took a step, then another step, and a third step. But at that moment, Peter caught sight of a monstrous wave at the edge of his vision. He turned his gaze toward the monstrous wall that threatened to crush him. No! Instantly, Peter lost his footing. The water sucked him down and whipped him around. Lord, save me! Immediately, Jesus reached out and grabbed Peter's hand. Your faith is so small. Why did you doubt me? 
Jesus firmly helped Peter back into the boat. Then he got in too. The wind died down and the water became smooth as glass. Jesus' friends sank down in the wet deck of the boat and stared at him in awe. You really are the Son of God. Free of the storm, the boat sailed smoothly across the water, guided by a gentle breeze. As day broke, Jesus and his friends landed at Gennesaret. After a night, they would never forget. Wow, Peter was so lucky. Wouldn't that be so cool to get to walk on the water with Jesus? Until he lost focus and he started looking at the wind and the waves and the problems all around him, just like we might do. We might get afraid. We might get upset when our parents argue, or we might get upset when we go into a new class and we don't really know anybody, or if we move, or if we're just feeling uncomfortable. We might lose focus on Jesus, but the good thing is we can stay focused on him and he will take us through whatever trouble we have. So stay focused today.